For a long time, I was convinced that marriage was not God's plan for my life. I didn't believe it was possible to find someone who would love me unconditionally. Thank God I was wrong. You don't just love me on my good days, you also love me on my bad days. Your love drives me to be a better man. I promise to love you with all my heart through the hardest times and the best of times. God willing, one day, many years from now, we're going to look back on the story we're about to write together and smile. I love how much pride you take in your career. I love your big old feet. (laughs) And most importantly, that you love Jesus. I love you, Haley Brooke. I don't think I will ever find words to adequately express how grateful I am for you. You love me for who I am. You appreciate my strengths and you accept my flaws. You make me better. I love how much laughter you bring into our relationship and I promise to keep that joy in our home. There are so many things I love about you and I promise to cherish each and every one of those. I promise to remember that love is a verb and that it is so very purposeful. I promise to love you, respect you, and appreciate you unconditionally in every single day for the rest of our lives. I love you. We have assembled here in the presence of God to unite this couple in marriage and seal the sacred rites of matrimony. There are two cornerstones to a successful marriage. They are love and commitment. The Bible gives a clear definition that the only type of love that will survive the adversity that sweeps through any marriage is a love that lasts forever. power vested in me as a minister of Christ Jesus and by the great state of Tennessee I now pronounce you man and wife Chase you may kiss the bride Woo! Love you. Love you.